Hello everybody and welcome back! Brush your front, where have you been forever? Thanks for your help though, even though you didn't really do anything in the last episode, but... Yeah. No, no, she's cool now. She's still a little crazy, but but she's cool. We're, we're mostly friends now. Yes, Estinian's standing right here. Uh, do you want to pipe in Estinian and be like, Yep, that's actually what happened. Believe it or not, that's actually what really fucking happened. And, and, and do we also not mention that fucking Alphano was there too? This whole thing was his idea? Yes. Go fucking find Alphano because he's not there. Like, like, really? Really? Like, that would be like a perfect time to mention. It's like, oh yeah, Master Alphano was really worried about you guys. But he could, but he wouldn't tell me what was going on. Like, you could have done something like that. Oh, hi, Shorty Pants. Where the hell have you been? Praise Halone. You are safe. My safety was never in doubt, Father. For I had the Azure Dragoon and the Warrior of Light by my side. I, I don't think that's who he was referring to, but okay. We bring the most wonderful tidings. Uh-huh. Can I tell this? No, 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 no. This is my story. Istinian, you gonna let him steal my thunder like that? The infamous Lady Iceheart, here in Ishgard? This is most unexpected. Um, hi. By the way, Nidhogg is dead. That's a little bit more important of a news to spew out. Like... Five people knew what the hell we were doing! <laughs> Hi! Big Dragon! Trying to kill you for a thousand years? Yeah, he's fucking dead now! Kind of a big deal! She has done much to quell the violence. The Inquisition may not approve, but we are glad of her presence. And with the Great Worm's demise, even our nation's more reactionary elements will have scant grounds to press for her immediate impeachment. Yeah, we're just gonna gloss over that part. Just gloss right over it. My thoughts exactly. Let's talk about just the Queen of the Heretics just running around what our city. What is the truth revealed to us by Hreisvelga? That the origins of the Dragon Song War, a core tenet of Vishgardian faith, are quite unlike those depicted in the scriptures. Yeah, and there's that too. That men and dragons once lived together in harmony, and that it was man's treachery which shattered the peace and plunged our peoples into war. The same scripture also describes the origins of the High Houses. Were it exposed as false, the legitimacy of our rule would be called into question. Well, technically it's not really all that false because Heldreth did say, yeah, go split it amongst yourselves. So, it's not like they stole it or anything? Just by which the means of what actually happened on that day was a lie. But them ascending to power? Um, no, that that's technically not a lie. That 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 is not called it being into called into question here. Hello, we had an echo vision about this. Um, you are technically the rightful rulers of Vishgard. And by the way, they ne never never at any mention at any point how this whole church and archbishop thing comes into it. They completely gloss that over, but that's another can of worms. Let's not get into that. If both highborn and lowborn can trace their ancestry to Thorden and his knights twelve. But a single sip of dragon's blood is required to confirm their lineage. If the Holy See knew of this and chose to remain silent, their crimes are grievous indeed. Regardless, this state of affairs cannot be allowed to continue. Sir Emmerich, you cannot mean to raise this matter with the Archbishop. The truth is already out of the bag. It can only stay a secret for so long. Eventually, somebody's gonna have to blow the whistle. 
Pray consider what you are proposing. If the Holy See chose to conceal the truth for centuries, what reason would they have to reveal it now? It's called we blackmail them? It's not th them revealing it of their own free now free will. It's going to be us barging in the door saying, Hey, fuckers, I know your secret. You might want to come clean because, yeah, whistle's being blown here. Right now. At best, you will be branded a heretic and clapped in irons. Then at least the Archbishop will have shown his true colors. My friends... This war will never truly be at an end until the truth is made known. Yeah, see, I'm on his side here. Like, I can understand why they're concerned because, you know, if he's going to blow the whistle... Yeah, he's putting himself in grave danger for, for, for doing that. But again, you can't keep this the truth for long. And, and furthermore, by us keeping it a secret and just sweeping under the rug like this, are we being any better? And the answer to that is no, we're not. You must see what lies on the horizon if it is not. When ruled by fear of a common enemy... We were united. But now we have none. During the war, the highborn needed men to lead and the lowborn men to follow. Not anymore. Tis but a matter of time before the old order is called into question. Lady Iceheart will share the truth with her followers, and the Holy See will be powerless to stop its spread. The disenfranchised will rise up united, and blood will flow in the streets once more. Yeah, yeah, see? Cat's out of the bag. We don't have a choice now. A divided Ishgard will not survive. Tread carefully, Lord Commander. My lady, is it wise to let him go? I sympathize with the Lord Commander's desire for reform, but to approach the Archbishop in this manner bespeaks an idealism to which I did not think Sir Emmerich prone. What, you jealous because that's your job? <laughs> Though he comports himself as a realist, he has long dreamt of reform. It was that idealism which first drew me to him, that which made me swear an oath to serve. We must not think of ways to hinder his cause, but rather ways to aid it. Even should the Holy See cry heresy. You cannot mean. If the Lord Commander does not return from the vault at the appointed hour, I mean to go and fetch him. Oh, come on. We can just have a try by combat and just kick everyone's ass like we did before. Have care, my lady. Your words border on treason. Should they reach the wrong ears, you will be declared an enemy of Ishgard. That is a risk I am willing to take. Lest you forget, my lord, I am not born of this land. My loyalty is to the Lord Commander alone. But I speak only of what may come to pass. If the rumors regarding his heritage are to be believed, we have naught to fear. <laughs> Lies and slander. Forgive me. What rumors are these? Yeah. That Sir Emmerich is the Archbishop's bastard son. Aw, oh, shit. Dude, why am I, like, standing completely off to the side? You know, like, I'm addressing the group. Sir Emmerich is long gone? Senior clergy are not permitted to marry and sire children. But even the holiest among us are not immune to temptation. I labor to believe it. Sir Emmerich is truly the Archbishop's son. He has never been publicly acknowledged as such. But the rumors have plagued him since childhood. That he rose to his current position, despite being despised as a bastard and accused of profiting from his father's influence, bespeaks the quality of his character. Yeah, we kind of already knew that. It is my hope that on this occasion, the burden of his birth will work in his favor. Should our worst fears be realized, the Archbishop will not be so quick to execute his own flesh and blood, affording us time to mount a rescue. Bastard or trueborn, he is our nation's best hope. If the Holy See dares to threaten him, I shall lead the charge against the Vault myself. Yeah, you tell those bastards, Asidian. Hear, hear. The future of Ishgard rests on Sir Emmerich's shoulders. 
I too will do mine utmost to aid his cause. Yeah, funny how like three minutes ago you guys were like, holy shit, he's fucking crazy for suggesting this. Oh, now we're all like, yeah, crazy. yeah, let's go rescue his ass, yeah. A knight lives to serve, father, to aid those in need. The people need Sir Emmerich more than ever, and we may be his only hope. There is no greater calling for a knight than to save the life of his fellow man. I swear to you, on the sigil of our house, that I shall do this and make you proud. Even you? <laughs> Romantic, reckless fools the lot of you. So be it. Make your preparations. I thank you all for your support. Now, some of that scene, I half wonder, in, and I mean this mostly in jest, if half the writing team was... Um, kind of partly asleep because, again, we kind of completely gloss over, just barely, the fact that Nidhogg is dead. Okay? No, seriously, Nidhogg is dead. This is a huge fucking deal. And even though the fallout that we have to deal with this now, um, it, it is completely realistic because things were not going to change overnight and with the truce we know now and everything like that. So I kind of get that. But, like, you would think that would be the most important thing to spread around town. Like, holy shit, you guys, Nidhogg is dead. And it, like, it just blows my mind how they just complete, they just, it's, that's just, just completely just blown out. And, and they, 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 they shove this, this, this next plot line in just a little too quickly for my liking. The other thing is why are we so worried about Emmerich being accused of heresy? Um, not only did a bunch of us just kind of chill with the heretic's boss, uh, but one of which, and Will's another one of her friends, at the beginning of the story were false, falsely, mind you, accused of heresy. We had a trial by combat, we kicked some ass, and nobody thought about any of this again. I mean, maybe this would just be considered a higher form of treason, where you could just, like, skip all that and whatever. But they're making it sound like it's like, this bigger fucking deal, when we've kind of already done this song and dance before. At least to a smaller extent. And that, and it's going to come up again very shortly, but I'm just going to address it now. Uh, the part that they said at the very beginning that the whole... Yeah, potentially every citizen of Ishgard can trace themselves back to Thornton and his Knights 12, which is obviously where, from where their power derives. Again, the fact that they're in the High House, they're in power now, is not in question. That That's not in question. Haldreth literally did fucking say in that Echo cutscene that, Hey, I'm out, guys. It's yours, okay? So they did claim it very, very fair and squarely. They just lied about how it happened, but, you know, it's not like, you know, they, they usurped him or anything like that. But a lot of people actually have questioned, like, how can this be possible? And it's, ne it's neither addressed in game, but in game I can kind of understand. But even, even even among the fandom, this is a source of confusion. Let me remind you of something, guys, okay? It has been a thousand years since Nidhogg died. No, no sorry, Nidhogg. Um, uh, the original Thornton um, killed Ratatoskr, and they took Nidhogg's eyes and everything with that. It's been a thousand years, okay? Even if we be extremely generous here, okay? At least 20 generations have passed, okay? And, and that, that is massively lowballing it. It's probably more in the, in the high 20s, early 30s. Every time there's a generation, you double the number of parents and grandparents you have. So, you know, you have two parents, you have four grandparents, you have eight grandparents, and so forth. By the time you get to, like, the 13th generation, you already have over a million ancestors. At that, at that one highest grandparent level. Okay? So, yeah, now you're looking at those numbers in, it, in the 20 plus, possibly as high as 30. That's a lot of freaking grandparents you have at that level a thousand years ago, okay? So just think about this mathema mathematically. The chances of one of the surviving ones, two of which, by the way, went to become Uncommon Man, uh, one of which, uh, I never went into this, is actually, yes, the founder of the Forgotten Knight, which, if you talk to the current proprietor, 
Uh, the rumors is he had a, a, a fine way with wine and women, a, a, a.k.a. he probably fucked a lot of bitches. I'm just putting that out there now. And uh, Ishgard still has a little problem with illegitimate children going on. The chances of the people now having one of those six guys that's actually survived, uh, and, well, I guess we can include Haldris too, because we don't know what the hell he was doing. Um, he, he just didn't want to be a part of this whole political scene anymore. Uh, having children that ended up, you know, sorry, those children having one of those half dozen of people within those, like, million fucking plus great great great, great grandparents or whatever, is actually incredibly high. So, yeah, they're, they're definitely on to something here. Like, even now, even now, like, you take, like, seriously, I don't know the exact numbers off the top of my head, but seriously, like, between, like, 50 and, like, 80% of Europe, like, right now, right now, is in some way, shape, or form directly descended from William the Conqueror from over, from nearly a thousand years ago, okay? So that kind of thing, it rings true in real life, too. So it's not just, just mathematical theorems. Like, this happens in real life. The farther back you go, the more likely you are distantly related to somebody. And... Yeah, it, I, I just find that kind of hilarious that, like, most, like, even the fandom is like, huh, how can they all be, like, related and stuff like that? Even even if we ignore the whole legitimate children, you know, illegitimate children factor of it. Yeah, it's just, it's it's mathematics at play here. It's just that nobody start you know, nobody really just keeps track of their 10th cousins and their 4th cousins, like, twice removed. Like, nobody keeps track of it at that level, but you do have plenty of those people in your life. Alright, so, now that that little ramble is all over... Let's actually talk to some people. Like what? Like what were you suggesting he pretend to do? Would you rather he just blatantly tell us what he was doing so, you know, we could have someone else blatantly suggest, you know, we go and aid him? Or would you rather lie and sneak around and put him himself in danger further without us knowing? Um, yeah... Uh, two of us, you know, right here, right here, including short guy who doesn't know how to fight with a dam, kind of kicked two of their asses already? Okay, it may be a little tough with, them, all, with all of them, but we can take him. I'm pretty sure we can take him. Do you have anything to say about all this? Well, at least you had to say something about this. Is it a Tataru who had nothing? Yeah, let's invite her and let her know what's going on, because she doesn't know shit. Oh, no pants for me yet. Okay. Not yet. I don't think anyone has new. We, we have to explore every dialogue option. Okay, this is how it works. Uh, so what about, like, Sutterfuge? I mean, you're tiny and all. And we have Tataru. Well, like, why don't we, like, sneak you in through a vent or something? Oh, revolutionaries. Oh, fuck yeah. Yes, let's go see Tataru and, you know, fill her in on what the fuck has been going on. God, she must be worried sick about us. So look at what we have here. We actually have an Aether Current quest. Yeah. 
We're, we're not gonna get into why it's here. But it's here. It's for the sea of clouds. We really don't give a shit about what's going on with that, so... Yeah. Tataru, we have a lot to tell you. Yeah, by the way, where were you during that? You, we have yet to elaborate on that. Yeah, see, I told you. What, Alpha Dome, what, what, you were waiting for us to come back from the area? Like, you didn't go visit her and kind of fill her in? Or maybe be, even if you had to be hush-hush about it? You didn't go and check up on you, you bastard? God, everybody's a dick. Uh, uh, Tataru? You may want to tell your boss you're taking a 15 here. Yeah, because remember, you, you kind of work here. What's up, dude? So yeah, let's talk to a bunch of people and try to find this uh, mongrel. Hi! We looking for someone named Mongrel. You see her. Hello, children. Still throwing snowballs at me, huh? What? Yeah. I'm gonna let a big fart right in front of you and make you smell it. How about that? Save your fucking city from a giant dragon. This is how people, you, people treat me. Well, that fucking got us nowhere. Yeah, we'll receive a warmer welcome because we're, like, not, like, in cahoots with the Holy See. Yeah, I'm sure people have seen us lying around, okay? Yes, why don't you ask those friends where she, where this person is? Haha, <laughs> yeah, ignore that. It's my squadron. Now we got to the pants. We gotta put those pants on. And then we gotta fix those pants because they're about ugly. Uh, uh, no, no, Tadro, Tadro, this is not the time. Not the time. Uh, why did we not do that in the first place? Like, he was literally three inches in front of us when we discussed this. For reals. Sir? Sir? Put down the drink. Okay. You're neither fit for swinging a sledge or a sword right now, alright? Go home. Sober up. Hello, sir. I'm sorry for stealing your employee, but it's really kind of unimportant right now. Okay, that sounds fair. I mean, you are, you know, bartender secrets and all that and all. I, I understand. Trade in herbs, huh? Do you mean the legal or the other kind of variety? 
I mean, not that it matters to me. Not that it matters. I don't worry, Blight. I don't judge. I'm not gonna judge you. Oh, hey, you two. What? What? Okay, yeah, keep your fantasies in your bedroom, please. But she is kind of hot, though, so I'm not going to blame you for that. Hello, sir! Well, maybe if you didn't owe him money... But I at least thank you for your prompt form of payment. I am kind of on a mission of great import over here. And I thank you for not cock-blocking me. That's probably the nicest and quickest thing that's happened to me all day. Go in peace, brother. Okay. I did your errand. Can I have some info now? Oh, we're gonna get people drunk. Oh, this is the best now. Oh, damn, sons. Now it's getting good. <laughs> but hurry, right, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode because this, this this chain goes on for uh for a little bit after this, so don't wanna carry it over too long. So, yep. What better way to get people to spill you info than some free booze? You the man. You the man. What a brilliant idea. Why didn't we think of this? Tyra, why didn't we have Tyra, like, make him a meal or anything like that? Being like, oh, yeah, you heard any interesting stories? You know, what kind of interesting people have you met? You know, maybe we can have a little poker game while we're at it. You know, make up some and match a scratch and everything like that. But anyway, this thing done here and there. So thank you for watching, friends, and I shall see you next time.